What's up, YouTube? It's Young Man's Daily Red Pill. Back with another video. Thank you guys for clicking on today's video, liking the content, sharing the content. Hope you guys are all having a blessed day today. I hope you guys are having a blessed week. And most importantly, you're reaching your purpose, you're reaching your goals that you set out, that you laid out once you took the red pill, because that's what we're all about here. So today's gonna be a very, very important video. And it's gonna be something that not necessarily I would suggest you try to explain to a woman when she comes at you with this BS because women don't tend to think logically and honestly I don't want you guys getting like an offensive case or something like she takes offense to what you say and reports you or she uh, tries to call the police or whatever she makes up some story about you being inappropriate towards her so what I'm gonna say for the sake of this video let's just keep everything that we discuss on this channel in this channel generally and if you want to talk about it like with some of your homies some of your friends or maybe like close family members that you can trust that won't try to like blackmail you then you can kind of talk to them about these things but at work don't be talking to females or in, in, in your personal life do not talk to them about what we're talking about here in this video specific you can think this in your head but just don't say it all right so i just wanted to put that out there disclaimer um, and also, this is just my opinion in general and just my observations. And I think a lot of men are starting to realize, hey, he has some good points. Hey, the manosphere at, like, is starting to listen. We're starting to grow this channel pretty fast. And more and more men are waking up to the fact that the red pill is real. And there's a reason why a lot of men are going their own way. There's a reason why uh, there's a pushback against feminism and there's a pushback against everything that society's tried to propagate and, and indoctrinate as in general as a whole and try to keep you down, not trying to help you uh, build something and understand that there's more to life than just working a nine to five and being a slave for the government on the conveyor belt that everyone else goes down. Anyways, today's video was inspired by a conversation I did have with a woman and she was basically complaining to me or expressing how she felt frustrated by the fact that a lot of men that she's talking to wanted to be very intimate with her off the jump. So as soon as they met up, whatever, whether it was on a dating app, whether it was some old fling from high school, whatever it was, as soon as they met up, he was wanting to be intimate. And ladies, you have to understand, this is not the man's fault. This is your fellow women's, woman's fault, right? It's the womanhood in general's fault. Because we as men have woken up. We as men have taken the red pill. We as men understand that for years you have been giving this type of intimacy very fast to a certain caliber of man that you deem worthy of it, all right? And now that men are starting to wake up, men are starting to say to themselves, we don't want to wait around and have to pay for something that another man got for free. And more and more men every single day realize this. So for instance, I like to use the analogy of the car dealership. Let's just say you're at a car dealership and obviously it's a car dealership you're gonna have to pay for cars so you're going to this car dealership for years you're always buying the cars before you can drive them off the lot and these are new cars sometimes they're used anyway so when you're at this dealership one day you start to realize for over a series of months or years that other men are starting to drive off the lot without having to pay they're starting to drive off the lot with these cars without having to pay even though for years you've had to pay as a man and I like to relate this to what's going on currently in dating and how a lot of men have woken up and realized listen I'm not going to be willing to pay for something that another man that you gave another man for free it might not necessarily be the woman you're talking to specifically but women tend to put a blame on men and say that we're dogs and we're dogging them out but in reality it's actually women that it's their fault <laughs> and, and when it comes to this it is not ours our fault as a man necessarily all right so women have to understand this and realize that your fellow women have been doing this for years and men are starting to wake up to the fact that there are certain men that they will break rules for which is the alpha male and there are certain men that they will make rules for which is the beta male and men will be charged if they are viewed as beta males and men will be given free things, free intimacy, all these uh, free money sometimes as well. And this is something that women didn't want you to know and this is something that was kept in the dark for many years. And it took a while for me to fully like wrap my head around this 
And in fact, I was pretty angry and upset at first. But women have to understand that it is actually not our fault as men for now pushing for intimacy so soon. We have seen this intimacy handed out like cookies to men deemed worthy of it. And men are starting to say, we have high value here. We are working our tails off our entire lives. We're going to school, trade school, whatever it is. Or maybe you didn't go to school at all. Maybe you have your own training. And we don't want to have to pay for something that another man got for free after busting our tails for all these years. So that's what you guys have to understand as women that we're coming from it from a place of logic where we understand like if I see someone getting something for free, I'm not going to be willing to pay for it, invest my time, invest my effort, invest what I've worked hard for right now uh, for something that another man was just handed out freely probably that same night, if not an hour after meeting him, because women really tr truly show their dark side to that alpha male. And ladies, the reason it seems like all these men only want one thing and they want it instantaneously is because more and more men are waking up, all right? So it's not just the guys that knew the game and knew how everything worked that, are, that have this knowledge, but it's everyone has this knowledge now. And everyone's starting to wake up in droves, all these men, and they realize like we're not gonna be willing to pay for something that was handed out for free and they continue to see videos like this, videos in the manosphere that tell them like basically how women have operated their entire lives but we're just becoming aware of what's going on that's been going on for centuries, you know? This has been going on for centuries, we're just now getting this knowledge. So women, take a look back in the reflective mirror and understand that it's not men's fault for pushing intimacy so fast, it's actually your fellow women that have done this. and. Uh, men realize your worth, realize your value, and realize that if a woman wants you, she should be chasing after you, not the other way around. You should always be chasing your goals, your purpose, whatever it is. And if women come, that's great. If they don't come and they don't want to meet your level and your requirements and, and, and they don't want to cooperate, then you got to let them go. You got to cut them off. And you should never be chasing her. She should always be chasing you and your attention. Understand this as men, value yourself, value your time, value your peace of mind, number one, all right? Love you guys, continue to take the red pill. Have a blessed rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.